Good day gentle people, it's your favorite Mr. Foyer 2. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna have a look at some stupidity. But the first debunk will be before the intro music. Messy hair. See, it's not a NASA projection. Was Cosmos wouldn't stand for that. For the first item, I'm gonna revisit my last video. Daniel felt the need for a reaction. Look at, look at this guy. What is... Oh, he's supposed to be on the Star Trek Enterprise, is that what this is? Daniel commented on my videos before, so either he is pretending to watch my video for the first time because he doesn't want to admit he's my number two fan, or he really is stupid and forgot what he had for breakfast. Place your bets now. <laughs> Just wait till you see his quote unquote science. <laughs> At least we have science to show. Where's yours? The lighter is resting at equilibrium in my hand till me, the force, comes and uses the force to pick up the lighter. Then when I stop using the force, it falls back until it reaches equilibrium. See, no force, the force. Drop, no force, the force. Right. Way. Okay, what? Way. Way. I'm gonna tell you to diet, it, cause I'm a smart globe guy. Wow, making fun of how someone speaks. You really are a terrible Christian. By the way, Daniel, how many languages do you speak besides Moron? Now, pay attention to how fast they say this supposed molten metal when all you're going to see is a metal, large metal ball spinning around at over 100 miles an hour. Those scientists are learning how the magnetic field is generated by spinning molten metal, and that is exactly what they do. Of course, they can spin it once per day, and get some usable results in about 4.5 billion years. Or they do what they are supposed to do, and speed up the process. They are not trying to make a replica of Earth, you imbecile. And how many times do they, what do they claim every time we show a spinning example of Earth? It only rotates once per day, 15 degrees per hour, right? A 15 degree per hour drift. Thanks, Bob. This is a three meter sphere of molten sodium. That is no, moron. That's a metal ball with some coils around it, it looks like, spinning much faster than you idiots claim the core of Earth spins. No moron, that is a 3 meter sphere of molten sodium, those coals that you hallucinated are for structural integrity, and how fast it spins shouldn't even be a subject for you to talk about. It is not meant to be an exact replica of Earth. I asked for a demonstration of molten metal, not a metal ball with coils around it claiming there's molten in it, and then showing absolutely no magnetic field being created. I know what you asked for, and you got it. Well, except for the results of this. But perhaps you should have clicked the link in the description of that video. Did you do that, Daniel? Did you? Of course not. And that is why you are a stupid flat earther. And this fucking moron actually thinks he just debunked me. I debunked your claim that there are no experiments with spinning molten metal in relation to magnetic fields. And I debunked a rumor that you had some tiny form of intelligence. So yeah, win-win. This is wherein lies the problem, I guess. These idiots really just think they can show any bullshit and it's science because they said so. The problem is people like you. Without any form of research, you dismiss the notion that there is molten metal in that sphere, and then you imagine there are coals around it. And then you dismiss what you see. Thanks Daniel, you will always be stupid. 
I'll leave Danny Boy alone now, so he has some time to confess his many sins. But after so much derp, it wouldn't be fair to include any other flurf, right? That's why I had to find something at the same level of stupidity. Here is Level Earth Observer. Today we got the Chinese astronauts doing Tai Chi in space supposedly. Wow! We take this full advantage of this situation and we're going to Tai Chi this silly pantomime known as the Chinese Space Station. So let's have a look. I suddenly remember why I didn't pay him any attention anymore. What have I done? Straight off the bat, nothing to suggest here, anyone's in a weightless environment, not even a zero-g plane at the moment. There's also nothing to suggest that they are not in space though. Now this could either be augmented reality. Sorry, what? Augmented reality. Augmented reality. Augmented reality. Augmented reality. So th this isn't even a zero G plane either. So this is more than likely just a geezer here on Earth involving himself in some silly pantomime via augmented reality. Augmented reality. No word about that floating box then? I'm surprised you didn't even remove it from your video. Now, considering this is supposed to be about Tai Chi in space, Tai Chi is an ancient Chinese art which concentrates on flowing movement and control of breath. Why is it then that we get so many cuts here, which is exactly the opposite to what Tai Chi encourages? It's about flowing, movement. It's all based off Taoism, which is a philosophy which bases so much of its integral structure around the movement and behavior of water. I know very little about Tai Chi. But I'm pretty sure Chinese state television knows better than Yellow Adam. But we got cuts left, right and centre. The footage we do see, very little would even suggest they're in a weightless environment. Like this one here. Not bad form though guys, to be fair. I can see you actually do some Tai Chi, fair play. Again, this could be anywhere. There's nothing to suggest this is a weightless environment. There's also nothing to suggest that they are not in space though. And then we cut to this scene, and of course they downgrade the quality of the footage again here. This is two bits of footage layered on. Ah, here it comes. A random claim without any evidence. you got the two at the front here, just stood here on earth doing their Tai Chi, and you've got Matey at the back, who's supposedly upside down, but his footage has been flipped and then layered in to this to make it look like they're somehow in space. But again, nothing to suggest anyone's in a space station or a weightless environment here. I mean, that just looks ridiculous. Personal incredulity is not evidence, Adam. Guys, if you want some help here with your publicity stunts, you clearly need some because it's so blatantly obvious at this point in time. I don't even believe in this Tosh and I, I, I can't stand it. But even me, even myself, could do better with the budget of a fiver. You cut yourself a deal, Adam. If you personally make something that looks better and realistic, I'll send you a fiver. This is ridiculous, lads. I could do better with a budget of a fiver and me phone. Go ahead, madam. I challenge you. This is terrible. And at this point in time, as I keep stating, it's mockery. Now, I actually think this is one of the few clips that are in a zero G plane, all right? Okay, we're not, it's not going to be for long, obviously. It's actually quite funny that he admits to gravity without realizing what that would mean to his flat earth fantasy. Now let's slow this down here. This is augmented, augmented peanuts this guy's eating, right? Pay particular attention to the right side of his mouth, the left as we're looking at it, okay? As these peanuts go into his mouth. He eats the first one, which is on the right, then the two that are on the left he eats. But as he eats them, you see a bit of an issue here with the augmented reality. Augmented reality. 
and the blending in as it actually goes in his mouth, kind of giving the game away. So let's watch this in slow motion. He's looking to the, he's not even looking at the peanut at this point in time. Pay real close attention, Adam. He is clearly looking at the peanut. He's looking across. Now he's centered up. Watch this. Look, 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 the interaction of that. Terrible. I don't see any problem with that. Are you seeing ghosts again? Come back. At this point in time, matey boy is not even looking at the peanut there. He's looking to the left of it, a screen, which is obviously showing him where these peanuts are. Zero evidence. Busted straight away. Yet alone the interaction between the augmented reality. Augmented reality. Peanuts and, and our mate here. So see it again. Terrible. And again, look at that, the way it interacts. Terrible. Does anyone know what he is referring to? Please let me know in the comments. You might want to up your budget. You're supposed to be this new superpower in space. When your, your, your tricks are almost like NASA in the 1990s. All right, you've got your augmented reality. Augmented reality. You know. But dear, oh dear, guys. Are you trying to wake people up with this tosh? I mean, look at matey's shoulder here. Hang on, let's come back a smidge. Look at his shoulder. Has he got harness points there or is that... I can't work that out. That's very nice of you, Adam. You supply us with a new sound clip. How much is one plus one? I can't work that out. Got a mate here, look at that in his lower back. Look! How obvious do you want to make it, guys? This is literally a mixture of harnesses, harness failures, Tai Chi, zero G play, augmented reality, augmented reality, silly music, and space pantomime, all blended together. Of course, Adam has zero evidence for that, so we can dismiss him without any evidence. You got any more stupidity to it? Hey. Give you a 666 just to say goodbye. And you wink, wink, nudge, nudge to all your pals in the space pantomime industry. <laughs> Augmented peanuts. I think he completely lost it this time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button too. In the description are some links to my Discord server, Twitter feed and support pages. Thanks for watching and I will be happy to see you next time again. This has been Mr. 482, out. Don't panic.